Hello again, everybody. This is Lynette with The Skin Candy. Thank you so much for joining us again today on another one of our Soapy Time Adventures. Where every day is an adventure and you never know what's gonna happen in the studio, which has been my day all day. So I hope this video finds you well and finds you happy and doing something that you enjoy doing. Today, we are making our sixth and final soap for our fall collection. This is called Pumpkin Frappuccino, and I am going to be making a coffee soap. I have never made a coffee soap on this channel. I made one about five years ago, and it turned out horrible. So, um, my batch seized, it went into the loaf like a big brick. Um, it was hard to cut, it was, it was just bad. It, the whole thing was bad. It didn't even smell good. Um, I put coffee in the lye solution and it scorched it and so it smelled like burnt coffee and it was nasty. To me, it smelled just like a coffee that you would get from Starbucks. That's really horrible because I think Starbucks coffee really stinks. So I would much rather smell coffee from somewhere else Anyways, I digress. That's not a ditch on Starbucks. I just don't prefer their coffee. I know a lot of people do, but I'm entitled to my own opinion. <laughs> so we are going to be making a coffee soap today, pumpkin frappuccino. I am going to be using the fragrance oil blend that I have made is actually a blend of three different fragrances. It is espresso from Midwest Fragrance Company, White Pumpkin and Amber from Nature's Garden, and Cafe Mocha from Nature's Garden. So I have done majority, the 3% was the espresso and the other 2%, actually I'm going to 7% on this. So there was 3% espresso, 2% White Pumpkin and Amber, 2% of the, um, Hello, the Cafe Mocha. So it does have a very, I can smell the chocolate notes in there, I can smell the pumpkin notes, and I can also smell the coffee notes. So we are soaping at room temperature today. What I am going to do, which I'm now thinking that I may have made a mistake, is that I'm going to do the, um, the water to oil method with my coffee. I was gonna put my coffee in here, and then I'm wanting to just, I'm not gonna color it at all because this will color this color to a dark brown anyways. So I figured that I'm not gonna do any color, I'm just gonna let it just discolor on its own. And I do have coffee grounds that I, after I brewed the coffee, I, I just pulled them out. I actually used a Keurig and used the K-cups. And this makes the, once you use the brewed coffee grounds, I know a lot of people don't do that, but I do because it leaves, it makes it less scratchy and it doesn't bleed. So you don't have that bleeding, that color that kind of bleeds off of that. We're also going to be putting coconut milk powder in it as well. So this is still going to remain a vegan soap. And my lye water is a little bit cloudy because I've been stirring it to get all the lye lint mixed in, but that's okay. It does have a little bit of sodium lactate in it just to help get it out of the bar. My thought process is I'm going to put this, the coffee in here. I'm going to mix it up um, with the coconut powder and the Lye solution just until emulsion, then I'm going to be splitting it off. I'm going to be splitting off a portion of white for the top because I want to do dollops on the top, kind of like it looks like has whipped cream on it. So I'm going to put that to the side and let that sit with no cut with no fragrance. And then I'm going to take two other ones because it discolors to a dark brown. I'm going to take a little bit of I'm going to take some white, another thing of white, and then I'm going to color one orange. And the orange I'm going to be using is it's an orange mix from Mad Micah's. So it is a mix of a bunch of different oranges. We were getting running low and we needed orange for a big project. So we dumped all of our oranges together. So we're gonna see what color orange we get with this with soap because I've only used it in bath bombs. But I'm gonna do just a little bit of orange. So those will be unfragranced. Yes, unfragranced. And then I will mix the fragrance in with the remaining amount of my soap batter I'll be adding a couple of tablespoons, maybe a little bit more, maybe two to three tablespoons of the coffee grounds that will go in my mold. I'm thinking I might do a hanger swirl depending on how things go. And then, uh, you know, with my orange and my white, and then once that sets up, I'll do some dollops on the top. 
I've never done this before. So once again, welcome to my channel where I make soap designs for the very first time. So I'm glad you guys are here to come along. Slightly nervous, but I guess if it all goes to crap, we'll just put it all together and I'll make something else tomorrow. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna put my coconut milk powder in here and I'm gonna stir that up because it does have a few little lumpy lumps. This is called burping the blender. If you've ever seen other soap makers do that, it's burping because we want to get all the oil. We don't want to, we want as much air bubbles out of there as you can. And if you can see this little air bubble coming in. So I'm going to get started with this. So without further ado, let's get soap making.
Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's so cute. Can you see the glitter? And the coffee grounds on there? <gasps> I don't want to wait until tomorrow to cut it. I want to cut it right now. Oh my gosh, guys. So cute. Okay. We're going to put this to bed. And we will be back in about 18 to 24 hours for the cut. So we'll see you in a second. Toodles. Hello everyone, we are back to cut the coffee soap. I am so excited to cut this. I love it. I love the top, look at that top. Love the top, love the sprinkles of the coffee on there. And we'll just see what the inside looks like. So, I apologize that I'm out of breath. I have just run up and down my stairs probably 20 times in the last probably 15 minutes because I have to run upstairs to grab something and then I need to grab something else and then I need to put something in the freezer and and let me tell you it whoo, is kind of crazy so there's the sides it is a titch soft so I'm gonna grab some gloves so in actuality That is not a lie burn. I burned my arm on my cast iron pan. So. Anyway. I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh, well. Okay. So it actually hasn't been. It's been about 18 hours since I made this. I'm going to turn this on its side. Because I, I'm wanting to make sure that the. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and do it. Ooh, enough. And pieces over here. Let's take a piece out of the middle. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that! So that, these two pieces were together, so if you open it up with the hanger swirl. Oh my gosh, I love the colors. And if you can see the dark, it's starting to darken and it will get even darker. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta stop saying, oh my gosh, guys. But oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh my heck, I'm loving these. These are so pretty. I love these swirls. I actually thought it was going to be really muddled because I thought I'd done it too much. Oh my gosh. So cute. I am just, I'm not kidding guys. I am loving my fall line, except for Harvest Moon. But I'm going to remake that one. Oh, the swirls are so dainty. Oh my goodness. I remind like the swirls you get on a on like a, a coffee from the coffee shop and they do the little swirl with the cream and they make a little hard or whatever. I just love these little swirls. That's what it reminds me of. I am so proud of myself, I have to say. So everybody, that is the soap. You guys take care. We will see you later. Toodles.